Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. We have some really great content. We're going to be talking about AutoCAD deployment creation, not just for AutoCAD, but also pertaining to AutoCAD architecture and AutoCAD MEP. We're going to create a deployment using default settings and install it on a virtual machine to make sure everything's fine and dandy. After we do that, we're going to take this exact deployment and modify it so that it's custom for your firm. This includes making CAD standards as well as putting the PC3s and pen styles in the deployment so that when you install it, everything is standardized across the board. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this episode. So right now we're going to be start doing the create deployment link over here and you're going to be having a warning that says that you're going to be creating 64-bit deployment. If you want 32-bit deployment, you need to create it from 32-bit platform. Right now, this is very typical. This is my DFS path for deployments, microsoft.local slash deployments, followed by the software name. I'm just gonna click next and click accept, click next. Um, serial number, product key, you guys know it. You're, use your own, don't use mine. And it screen just blanks out a little bit. Don't go crazy, don't worry about it. it just takes a couple of seconds. Right now, I'm gonna focus on AutoCAD architecture, so I'm gonna uncheck everything. All right, we don't need recap. Let's see, no need for an inventor either. And we'll check off AutoCAD architecture and we're gonna drop the pull down. And we're gonna just make the first deployment using default settings. Um, make sure Express Tools is checked, I'll always like that. And also I double check to make sure that I don't have that many desktop shortcuts. So US Imperial, yes. Global, I click on no. US Metric, I click on no. So there's only one desktop shortcut. You can change the menus and plotters location, right? It's from local to shared, right? But there's, since this is going to be default, I'm not going to mess with it too much. And I'm just going to use a default setting. Let's click back to default. The next demo, I'm actually going to change it. So don't worry about that too much. The second location or second area you can change um, file location support paths are here. Again, this is the first deployment. I'm just going to create a default and make sure it actually works. There's no service packs, right? So I'm scroll all the way down. And I always like that um, include computer names and error reports. So I'm gonna click create. It does take a couple of minutes. Um, so please be patient. Um, assume that it's gonna take you at least an hour to create, um, depending on how fast your USBs are and um, if you're downloading it from the Autodesk subscription center. Files downloaded from the auto subscription center directly from hard drive, so it's a lot faster. All right, so I fast forward a little bit, and here's my settings. It's successfully configured, so I'm just click finish. Okay, so now that our default deployment is done, I'm starting up VM01 and using that to browse into microsoft.local, which is my deployment location. Deployments, and I'm gonna browse into AutoCAD Architecture 2014 and click on the shortcut, and I'm just gonna click on run. And you're going to notice that uh, prerequisites will be installing, includes a C++ as well as any Microsoft prereqs. I fast forwarded just a little bit and started up AutoCAD Architecture. And you can see that it's running just fine. There's nothing really special here. Um, yeah, so that's it. Proof of concept. And it works. The default. This is default. So not too interesting. So right now I'm going to start. I'm just going to close this window, close this virtual machine. and modify my default deployment to something that's more usable something that's more interesting so let's click on create and modify and click on run and you'll see that um, you'll be modifying this deployment so there's not too many options on the first page that's not the interesting part anyway so just click on next Next, next. This is where it gets a little bit interesting, right? So we're gonna browse down and we're gonna scroll down to where we want to have the content, configurable folders. So the first option is actually to do plotters. So I'm gonna do it two different ways. Let me browse into my server. So my server is Argon DC2. You can actually use it on DFS, but I don't wanna mess up my DFS. So, so it's CAT standards, plotters. I'm gonna press copy. And in plotters, you see it's default right now. You have to drop down to shared. And then instead of this, at DFS, I'm going to browse into my server, Argon DC2. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So plotters on configurable, 
configurable folders, excuse me. And then in search paths, what I want to do is leave it, but put the support directory inside this, uh, this area. So this is a little proof of concept is that it works in both locations, the search paths and file locations, as well as the configurable folders location on, up top, right? So see this, and you see the bottom. So you want both of them to work because sometimes you prefer one over the other, right? So all the settings are the same. I'm just gonna pop this back up and click create. And since all the details and data is already pushed to the folder, it's pretty quick. So click on finish and close it. So as you notice on the top, this is VM02, a clean virtual machine. And I'm just gonna click on the shortcut to install AutoCAD architecture. And again, I wanna fast forward this since, well, there's not much to this installation. It's the same as before, as the default. Once it's installed, you see two icons on your desktop. Just um, start it up and run Autodesk architecture. Close all the palettes and stuff so I really don't need it. OP and press enter. And once that's done, you can expand support file search path. You can see my server is there. And also scroll down to printer support file paths. And you'll notice that the printer configuration search path is my server name as well as the printer description file search path is my server name as well. So as you can see, there are two areas that you can specify a custom deployment. The first one is configurable folders and the second one is search file and locations dialog area found directly inside the deployment creation tool. Keep in mind that this is just a sample of what is available in the tool. If you were to make a custom deployment for your firm, you would make a lot more changes to the custom deployment. So we just created a AutoCAD deployment using default settings and custom settings. It's quite neat, but we do realize that some firms might run into issues. So if you do, give us a call or shoot us an email in our support department and we'll be sure to answer your questions. All right. Be sure to check out our blog and YouTube channels for other tips and tricks. Until next time, this is James Wong from the Microsoft Resources Tech Team signing out.